Hey guys, I'm Chris from Agent Tees, and today we're going to be playing with the Sense ESS-1 engine sound system. Now these have been widely popular the past month and they've literally been flying off our shelves at an increasingly quick pace. So we decided to open one up, uh, see what's inside and give you guys a little inside scoop on how to install different sounds onto it how to you know pre-install it before you actually place it onto your RC model and we're actually gonna put it on our Axial Wraith today so you guys will get to see that so what we have here is the actual sound system now you can see that it's not too large it won't get in the way of all your other electronics once you install it so that's always a plus and they also come with little volume adjustments and this is what you use to sync the actual system to your remote now also included in the box is the Y cables. Now this is what you will use to connect the servo and the receiver to the actual ESS unit. And this will also act as the connector for the USB, which you can plug into your computer so that you can pick different sound files uh, depending on what kind of car you run. So they have different ones for touring cars, uh, short course trucks, uh, crawlers, and they also have brakes and nitro noises. So. You know, it's highly customizable, you can do whatever you want with it, and seriously, all the sounds are pretty pretty accurate, actually. So once you get to hear them, you'll really get a sense for what you're looking for, and then you'll get to pick whichever one you want. Uh, it also comes with the T-plug, and when we're installing it into the Axial Wraith, you'll notice that we use an extra adapter, and that's because the body of the Axial Wraith uses a Tamiya plug, and that's what we're going to be using. Uh, which is right here actually. This is the unit that we're going to be using. So just make a note of that. If your car uses a different plug, you might have to get an adapter for it. But Boom Racing, you know, they provide all these parts. So if you want to find it, you can always check our site. Uh, we'll also link it down below in the description for you. Now they also come with mounting stickers, at least three of them. And these will allow you to stick this ESS-1 station onto your actual car. You can also use any other kinds of adhesive tapes, uh, Velcro if you want. But, you know, they give you what you, what you want. So if you do want to use these units, they're quite sticky. They're very reliable in most cases. So now that I've introduced most of the parts, uh, we'll get right to installing different sounds onto the ES-1 system. So, yeah, thanks. All right, when you're on the apps page, you're gonna see your ESS-1 system. Now you click on change for the sound file. And here we already have some installed, but if you're new, you're gonna click on online resources, uh, find the car model that you're using. Uh, we're using the Axial Rate, so we're gonna pick Crawler. And you're just gonna click on the install button found right next to the sound file. Now you are gonna have to register an account, but that's a very simple process. And once you do so, you can do as much modifications as you want. Uh, we're going to fast forward this clip just so that you don't get bored from watching a bar. Uh, anyways, once you're finished, you're going to click close, uh, head back to your ESS-1 system, and you'll see the new sound file installed into it. Now that we're finished uh, installing all the different audio files onto the ESS-1, uh, we're just going to put it together really quickly just so that you get a clearer vision of exactly what's going on. Uh, before we actually put it onto the RC car. So first of all, we're gonna plug in the actual ESS-1 unit into the Y cable right here, like so. Whoops, I put it on the wrong side. All right, there you go. All right, fits nice and snug there. Now this end, we're gonna place onto the uh, receiver unit right here. Just plug that into the throttle side, like so. And we're going to leave this one open for the ESC when we actually get into the car's installation. So right now we also have the adapter unit for the T-plug uh, that leads open to a Tamiya plug. So this is only for our case in the Axial Wraith, but when you're actually considering buying this and you're looking at your own cars, please reconsider, uh, look for the adapter that will fit this unit because this is actually really necessary. If you buy it with a T-plug and it ends up that you don't actually use that for your own car, you're gonna have a pretty hard time playing this unit. So we're gonna plug this one right into the T-plug provided by this unit right here. So it's actually a little bit tight, so you just wanna really push that in there. And then we are going to plug the T-plug into the battery, like so. Right there. 
And then finally, we're going to plug in the ESS1 unit into the battery. Now you can already hear that it's powered on. So yeah, we've already finished this part of the installation. So we're going to place it onto the car now. So stay tuned. All right, so here we have the Axial Wraith Poison Spider. So uh, the installation is actually pretty messy right now because we didn't really want to install it too in depth. We wanted to just show you what it sounds like, uh, what the car, how the car reacts to the actual ESS-1 system. So here we go, let's plug this bad boy in and see what happens. Here's the battery plug. All right, there you go. Now let's turn it on. Alright, I use the remote. It sounds so good, right? Okay, so I'm gonna press the throttle a bit. Okay, now let's now let's go backwards. So it's actually very responsive. Uh, the adjustments for the volumes actually make a pretty big difference if you want it to be louder for the actual unit. So yeah, here's our preview of the ESS-1. If you're interested, please click the buy link in the description below. Uh, we also have all of these accessories with us uh, provided by Boom Racing. And they'll all be in the description. Everything that you see up here can be found through there and through our site as well if you look for it. So from all of us here at Asia Tees, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. We have a bunch more previews coming up. So if you guys like this, please like our page, uh, subscribe to our channel and yeah, see you then.